hi guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new to my youtube channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for returning back for another video so guys from the title of this video you already know what it is it's going to be a feminine hygiene talk and i'm going to be sharing with you guys some few tips and tricks some things that i have recently learned and some things that i have actually learned as well that has really really helped me and these things they are so minute so small but they make the biggest difference guys they have literally taken my vagina hygiene game from here so yeah so if it's something that's going to interest you you definitely want to keep on watching guys before i go into today's video before i share the nitty gritties before i put you guys on that good stuff i just want to put a very big disclaimer out there so ladies if there's anybody that's making you feel like you have a problem because your vagina your vjj your coochie your down there area doesn't smell like roses lavender flowers chocolates vanilla and all of those stuff that person is feeding you lies from the pits of hell and you need to take that person you need to rumple that person up and throw the person in the trash can because you don't need that kind of energy in your life because seriously for the longest of time i used to think that i had a problem because i didn't smell that way when in actual sense i was perfectly healthy and okay the truth is that you have to know that we all have a unique smell okay we all have our smell as long as that smell is not foul um offensive like very bad as long as it's not very disagreeable it's not offensive before i repeat this word three times i'm sure you already know what i'm talking about we just have that smell and the moment you begin to accept it and accept that that is how you smell like better for you you're already walking in the right path and the road to salvation literally because there are so many people especially same ladies like we are both ladies and you're trying to tell me that i'm supposed to smell like roses vanilla and where we know in actual sense we're not supposed to smell that way so yeah i just thought to put that out there before i go into today's video so firstly i'm going to be talking about choice of undies choice of undies they seem so like minute like how would the choice of my undies affect how i smell or my overall vagina health but they actually do i'm sure by now as a lady you must have heard that um the best pants to get are cutting pants and this is true because cutting pants or cutting materials are good absorbing materials they help to absorb moisture sweat anything that just comes from your down there area it is capable of absorbing that moisture without transferring to whatever it is that you're wearing or making you to smell so i'm going to be showing you guys some panties and making you know the kind of pants that you should buy if that makes any sense so exhibit number one <laughs> so if you have a pant like this uh, probably you like to wear thongs or pants that are just maybe small like this you want to ensure that they have cutting materials in them because this cutting material is what's going to help absorb moisture and all of those things that come from your down there area exhibit number two so if you are like me and you like net pants or pants that are net ish take for example this it doesn't have any cutting material in it now i'm not saying that pants like these are like a hundred percent bad yes you can wear them but you have to be very cautious when you're putting this on i wouldn't advise that this should be your everyday go-to kind of pants because it doesn't have any sort of cutting material in it to absorb moisture does that make sense i'm sure it makes sense <laughs> So exhibit number three and last exhibit for the day. Um, this is another pant. It is not a 100% cutting material, but um, it has a cutting material that is sort of a padding inside. That way, whenever you put this on, it's able to absorb moisture. Does that make sense? I'm sure it makes sense. So yeah, choice of pants, very, very important. It's very important that you get pants that 100% cutting. If you can't get that, just ensure that Whatever it is that you're putting on has cutting in it and is able to absorb moisture. Yo, yeah, so that's it. Um, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is how you actually take care of your pants. Uh, for someone like me, um, I went to boarding school, and in boarding school, you were not really opportune to like wash your pants and sun them outside or like in the linings where everybody can see it. 
you know because you're staying with people especially if you stay with people you know you're staying with people people that you probably don't know you just have to stay with them maybe because of work or school be very careful with how you take care of your pants so um back to my story i had to like wake up in the morning when i'm having my bath or at night i would wash my pants and spread it inside the room because you can't really spread your pants outside it was of late that i learned that that is actually not good and i know that there are lots of ladies that actually do these things but you don't really have a reason why you shouldn't do it because that is the only way you can do it so i'm here to share with you guys an easier way to do these things because the truth is your pants need sunlight they need sunlight because when you store or rather when you dry your pants in a shaded area like inside your house or your bathroom all the time morning evening monday friday saturday sunday to the end of the week rinse and repeat it's actually a breeding ground for microorganisms because microorganisms most microorganisms they thrive in moist environments okay so you want to ensure that your pants can have um direct reach with sunlight so what i advise is that you can get a pants hanger the ones that had individual pegs so that way you can peg your pants and maybe during the weekends like on saturdays on sundays after you come back from church or your daily activities you just take it outside and you you can put a timer on maybe for like 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes or to an hour whatever is convenient for you and just ensure that your pants can come with direct sunlight so that way they are properly dried and there is no breeding ground for microorganisms guys i recently i recently started doing this and i have seen a big difference in even how my pants they look like generally so next i'm going to be talking about why it is important for you to sleep without pants like you need to let your vagina breathe don't suffocate it okay. let be poor breathe don't suffocate them we have that responsibility okay you need to let that place breathe it it should breathe if you're a lady and you live with people probably you don't live alone you live with external family relatives or friends or maybe your hostel when you go to bed at night you can put on a baggy short a baggy knicker something that's like free and just go to bed that way if you stay alone sleep naked yes sleep naked your vagina needs to breathe it's it needs air you go you wake up in the morning you have your bath you put on your pants you go to work you pull it you bathe you put on another pants like the only time your vagina gets to breathe is when you take off a take off an old one and put on a new one that is not actually good. You really, really do need to let your vagina breathe. Next, I'm going to be talking about feminine washes, vaginal washes. I'm sure you must have heard of those things. There are lots of persons that say water is enough to clean your downstairs area. You shouldn't use any other thing. You shouldn't use soap. You should use just water, 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 water. For me, the vagina is self cleansing, no cap. You shouldn't do anything. You shouldn't doubt. You shouldn't put anything that is not recommended by your physician to put there, especially ladies that use burk acid a whole lot break acids are good yes but personally i feel before you want to get break acid talk to your physician talk to your doctor talk to somebody that is medically inclined don't just buy it and just insert and use all the time well, that is a talk for another day. I'm just going to talk about feminine washes. Feminine washes for me are very important. Yes, the vagina is self-cleansing. You shouldn't do anything extra there. But the vulva, the exterior part, is not self-cleansing. You have to actively cleanse it. Just as you have to actively clean your face, you have to act you have to actively clean it, okay? And the truth is that your soaps, your bathing soaps, your um your washes, your shower gels, they are not good um materials or soaps or cleansers to use down there i highly recommend that you get yourself a good vaginal wash or feminine wash and this is the one that i am currently using and this is oriflame feminine wash um this contains calendula it contains prebiotic and lactic acid it's ph balance is soap free and it's like it's good like i really love this and i've been using this for a very long time i also use femme fresh but i've run out of that so i'm currently using this now and guys this is really good you don't even have to use so much it doesn't lather it's not like um your soaps so make your research if you would want to try out um feminine washes or vaginal washes get yourself a very good one that is dermatologically gynecologically tested it's safe with no side effects um and 
yeah use it and you're definitely going to see a very positive outcome from it next i'm going to talking about wipes wipes are very very important especially when you're going out you know there are times that you're outside and yeah we don't really plan for these things but they happen you're pressed you want to wee or you want to go party you have to also protect yourself because you're using a public restroom you can get infected with some funny funny things there and we don't want that to happen i really recommend that you get wipes like this and this is my favorite wipe currently i've been using this for a while now and this is the femme fresh um, intimate skincare wipe it contains 15 daily feminine wipes you need and you can use this in the morning you can use this in the evening it's really really good it doesn't have any side um, effects it doesn't even cost me to have any itching whatsoever and i really really do like it um if you do not want to use wipes like this you can get pocket tissues like this um maybe when you're going out you just stop this into your bag you know that way you are just keeping yourself protected let me talking about panty liners panty liners are also very good like when i talked about the kind of pants that you use if your pants are not really um cutting padded you want to get yourself panty liners like this that way um whatever is being secreted down there will just be transferred into your panty liner and this is how it looks like it's really good it's not very heavy it's lightweight and it's super absorbing and this is the one that i'm currently using this is the ecosnia 30 panty liner i don't know if i pronounced that right but you want to get yourself good panty liners that way um it helps you to absorb moisture fluid and those things that are being secreted in your down there area next i'm going to be talking about scrubbing your down there area scrubbing your down there area is actually very important especially when you scrub your bikini line you know if you struggle with ingrown hair you struggle with dark ties you want to get yourself a good scrub i personally i use my body scrub and i use the um Hairview body scrub. I recently got this the milk and yogurt one that I use normally. If you're frequent to my channel, you must have seen that it's almost finished. I recently got this and I've used this, and it's actually really good. It smells good, it keeps you fresh, and it gets rid of you know dead, ingrown, dark spots. If you struggle with dark spots, you want to try to incorporate exfoliating your down there area so we're talking about moisturizing your down there area moisturizing your down there area is super super important as a lady it's good that you learn to moisturize your down there area personally for me i love to use baby oil and i use pierce baby oil if you can use johnson baby oil trust me it's really good because it helps to retain moisture it keeps that place you know um properly moisturized um prevents it from getting excessively dry so you want to get yourself oils like this but not the least um if you stay in a public place probably you're living with people and you know you have to share toilets with them you want to get yourself good disinfectant you can get yourself detoil so that whenever you're going to the toilet you know you're able to like wipe up the seats disinfect the environment before you use the toilet i i feel like this is very very important because if you just like put your butt on the toilet without doing that you stand a chance of getting you know maybe itchy especially if you're you have sensitive skin you can get itching you can get an infection you know so you have to be very careful even if you are living alone it's good that you take precautions it's good that you are you're always on guard and you're always taking proper care of yourself as a lady things that i've recently started doing and i have seen so much benefit from them and i thought to share it with you guys anyways guys so we'll come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video you want to give this video a very big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and get subscribed to the channel and guys see you in my next one until then bye